Hello and welcome back to day 45 of How to Fix the World in 80 Days. And today we're talking about protesting. There are many different kinds of protests out there, from strikes to sit-ins to marches to social media campaigns, and they're all different in their own way. But one thing they all do have in common is people are pissed off and they're gonna goddamn do something about it. I love that attitude. I love that people are willing to sacrifice something to get what they think they deserve. But what I do hate is people who get lost in the sauce, who get high on their own supply, who basically make the protest about themselves and become the very thing they swore to get rid of in the first place. It seems to happen much more often than I'd like. So instead of writing a script like I normally do, today, for all you protesters out there, I've written a notorious B.I.G. 10 Crack Commandments inspired lesson on how to get what you actually want when you're protesting. So without further ado, here are the 10 protest commandments. Number one, get ready to be disappointed. No matter what you expect, it's probably not gonna go the way you want it to. It's gonna take more time than you want, it's gonna cost more than you think, emotionally, not just monetarily, and you're probably not gonna get everything that you wanted. It took Gandhi 30 years to gain Indian independence, so just take that into account. Number two, have a very clear message. One problem protests have, especially as they start to gain momentum, is the message gets diluted. We had one in Montreal that started off as a bunch of students complaining about raising tuition fees and ended up becoming a bunch of 40-year-old union workers complaining about the government. So try to stay on message. Three, explain why you deserve something. It's not enough to just say that you want something. Everybody wants something. You need to explain why I should support you. A great way to do that would be to inform yourself so that, in turn, you can inform me. See how that works? Number four, be realistic. I understand that in negotiation people think you go high and I go low, but when you ask for too much, you really just lose my respect. When Nelson Mandela went to prison, the first thing he asked for was pants. He didn't ask for freedom, he didn't ask for a steak dinner, he wanted pants so he could have his dignity back. Rome was not built in a day, stay realistic. Five, know your enemy. Planning a protest in Canada versus planning one in, say, Venezuela is a completely different thing. In Canada, they might ask you to, ooh, sorry, please keep it on the sidewalk. In Venezuela, they might just start shooting at you. Do your homework. Number six, respond in kind. If your enemy escalates the situation, sure, you can go an eye for an eye, but where's that really gonna get you? If you wanna win the war and not just the battle, you need people to support you. Don't give them a reason not to. Stay lovable. Seven, make some friends along the way. At this point, if you're protesting properly, you've probably pissed some people off. So it might not be a bad idea to find out if there's some people out there who actually support you. And besides, you're probably not alone. If you're, say, a teacher or a cop asking to have a higher salary, you might find some common ground with the people who want to raise the minimum wage. You're kind of asking for the same thing anyway. Eight, you're almost at the end of the game. So think back on yourself. Have you stayed true to your initial goals? So often protests go off the rails. So as you reevaluate everything you've accomplished or not accomplished, ask yourself, is this something you still wanna be a part of? Have the ends justified the means? Only you can really know this for yourself. Nine, have an end game. Often the end game is people start shooting at each other. So if that's not something you want, and let's be honest, it probably shouldn't be, you need to know when to walk away. Remember at the beginning we said that you probably weren't going to get everything you wanted? Well, unless you want to be a martyr, you need to know when to walk away before it's too late. And finally, 10, have some fun out there. Any protest worth doing is going to suck at some point, so don't forget to have fun. If you can't have that, then what was the point in the first place? So that's it! Not too complicated and anyone can do it no matter what kind of protest you have in mind. If you have a movement that you think measures up to my super high standards, I'd love to hear about it. If you can get my skeptical ass on your side, you're probably well on your way to getting what you want.